Well, I am here with Susan Clement Tober, the artistic director from the Blue Barn Theater and the director of Red Summer, and Bowfield Berry, playwright author of Red Summer, um, again, Blue Barn Theater. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, nice thank to be here. Thank you, Andy. Well, let's just first talk just briefly about the upcoming season. There's, it's, it's an awesome season, it number is. 31. It is. Season 31, memory. And so each play in its own right reflects memory, be it mind memory, be it heart memory, or be it historical memory. Did you know that going into the season when you were selecting, or did that come after the fact? I should say yes, yes, I had it all planned. <laughs> no, you know, normally I choose the plays by gut instinct. Um, sure. And so then after I've chosen the season, five shows, and then usually I can find a, a theme that runs through yeah. and ties them all together. Yeah, so yeah. you've got five shows. Yes. Um, the first one is going to be starting when? September 26th. And let's talk about the first one titled? Red Summer. Red Summer. And that We've is... said that like several times. Yeah. Keep saying we, it. We have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Red Summer. Right. And I might, I might, I think Bofield Berry could really speak to yeah. Red Summer since she is yes. the playwright. <laughs> so Bofield, let's, what, what draws you to this story of Will Brown? Talk to me. Talk to me out. Sure. So the Red Summer is, um, an, is an actual historical term about the summer of 1919, where nationwide we saw a rise in racial tensions and racial riots. And that includes um, one of the most horrific events happening right here in Omaha, downtown Omaha, where William Brown, who had been falsely accused of um, assaulting a woman, was lynched by a mob. Um, right outside of the courthouse. So I've grown up with that story. It's uh, a well-known piece of um, Omaha history, and I really wanted it to be even more well-known because there are still people who, it ha who haven't been touched by it. Yeah. Um, so that's what drew me to it. And as we came into 19 to 2019, and it was the 100-year anniversary, right. I thought that... Um, you know, this would be the perfect time to kind of commemorate the event and Will's memory. Absolutely. So tell me, what do you, what do you hope the response is to this play? I hope that Omahans are open to it. Okay. I hope that they... Um, you think they might not be? Well, I think that it is a hard thing to remember. Sure, absolutely. Right, and I think that it makes people uncomfortable yeah. to talk about it. And I hope that they recognize how far we've come, but also how far we have yet to go. Because there are some similarities in the show that very much mirror things that are happening in 2019. Right. For sure, because I was the next question is, why is this piece relevant to today? Um, and I think you just said, I mean, yeah. you just said it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, as we were going through, as we've been working through the script, we keep saying, wow, this is still hitting home. Mm -hmm. um, the communities that are affected may be different, but a lot of the politics of the time and a lot of the tension of the time still sits with us. Isn't that interesting? I mean, it's just, it's like that doesn't go away. Right. Even it's though, interesting and tragic. Yes. Yeah. You, you yeah. think that you're evolving and moving forward and, and becoming a more compassionate, you know, planet, which many of us are, but, but there's, there's a lot of that very prevalent and even more so That's on some right. levels. So. It's definitely taught behavior. Um, and so my hope is that it can also be unlearned. Yeah. And what to you, what is Will Brown's legacy to you? What do you think, Sue? To not keep repeating to honor who the individual person, no matter the skin color, no matter where you're born, where you're raised, um, and to never forget, which is a phrase that we hear a lot mm -hmm. uh, about different things, and I think it, it, it becomes overused, but I think in his um, spirit, it, it rings really true. And not only to forget him, not forget him, but also to go forward and live better lives and more inclusive lives and more open-hearted and accepting the beauty in each other. It sounds corny, but 
No, I think I mean, true. Yeah, I love it. It was beautiful. Thank you. So thank you. We're in the Cornhusker State. Yeah. We, we can be corny. We can be corny in the Cornhusker <laughs> State. Well, tell us about the cast and crew. How many people are involved in this performance? Nine. Ooh, we've got a cast of nine. Fabulous cast. Yes, I'm excited for everyone to see them. Um, they've been, a lot of them are from here. Our Will Brown um, is played by Antonio Duke, and he is from the St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Okay. Uh, so he's joining us in Omaha for rehearsals on the run. And then um, the rest of our actors are local, and they are, they're fantastic. They are. And this kicks off, when is the, oh, when's opening night? Uh, September 26th okay. is our opening night, and it runs through October 22nd. Okay. And it's, uh, we've already launched, you know, we have season ticket holders, of course, and, and we've launched public sales, and it's selling like wildfire, and that's really thrilling. Mm -hmm. And are you already in, are you? We're um, in rehearsal. rehearsal yeah, we're or? in rehearsal. I had a great rehearsal at Bofield, and I were just speaking about it yeah. about last night with the actors, with four of the actors, and it's just a, a tremendous story to be a part of, and uh, I'm super honored to be able to yeah. direct it, to direct a piece like this, especially with the writing. And I'm not just saying this because I'm sitting next to the yeah, you have playwright, to say but that. well, it's true. The writing <laughs> yeah. and the and the narrative of the story, it's it's really finessed in a way that the connection between the audience and the actors in the story uh, can't help but ignite emotion. Mm. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Yes. Um, get your I really tickets. Am. Yeah. So let's talk about getting tickets. Where do we go to get tickets? Sure. You can go online, bluebarn.org, or you can call us at the Blue Barn, okay. which is, you know, our phone number. Yeah. And then also, People can buy individual tickets, but the, the whole season is going to be amazing. So right. I encourage people Absolutely. to go out and buy a season ticket. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. season tickets. Uh, we sell to 800 and we cap, and we're, we're at about 670 already. Okay, so we, wow. Yeah, so you can call us online and, or, or yeah. get them online as well. Yeah, and also find you on Facebook, right? Absolutely. Follow up and keep keep on what's yep. coming on. Yeah. So I just want to thank you both, ladies. Well, thank, thank you. You know what? I'm just like a little dyslexic right now. I want to thank <laughs> both of you, ladies. We Susan, took it. We knew what you meant. Oh my goodness. We were yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks okay. for having us yeah. on. Thank You're so you, welcome. Andy. And yeah. Um, yeah, what a powerful uh, play. I'm looking forward to yeah. it and encourage everybody else to buy their tickets. So we will be right back. Mm -hmm.